Good morning and welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. Today's devotion is called Fixing Our Eyes and is found in Hebrews chapter 11, verses 39 to Hebrews chapter 12, verse 3. And these all, having obtained a good report through faith, receive not the promise. God having provided some better things thing for us, that they without us should not, should not be made perfect. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endureth such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. Misguided attentions, disordered priorities, and temporary outlooks. Those three phrases capture how large a majority of people live their lives. Whether it's money, success, recognition, or something else, everyone has their eyes fixed somewhere. They're looking, they're searching, chasing after transient pleasures and hoping they will bring lasting joy. It's an endless search for satisfaction and contentment that only ends in misery. As Christians, we know the folly of this pursuit. We know the things of this earth are fleeting, but everywhere we look, something temporary attempts to capture our hearts steal our focus and lure us in with the promise of satisfaction. Immersed in the midst of a trend-seeking culture, we need this timeless truth found in today's verse, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Jesus, God in flesh, stepped into this world and met us in our brokenness. He lived the perfect life on our behalf that we never could. He paid for all of our sins through his bloody death on a cross and he rose triumphantly to conquer death, hell, and the grave. If we're going to run our race of faith well, we must keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. He's our strength and he's our reward. So where are your eyes fixed? Are you looking unto Jesus or have you been distracted by the foolish pleasures of this life? Jesus alone is worthy of your attention. Fix your eyes on him. Now, some thoughts that I have is that if we keep our eyes on Jesus, we'll, we will be satisfied. And the little things that, you know, this life offers, they won't last for satisfaction. And if we keep our eyes on Jesus, then we won't be worried about things of the world and the worldly pleasures. Today's thought to glow is Jesus alone is worthy of your attention. And the key verse is Hebrews 12 too. Looking up to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. I'm going to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much for all you do for us, God. Thank you for this devotional this morning, Lord. Help us and give us the strength to keep our eyes on you, Lord. And I pray um, that we would find our joy and satisfaction in you, God, and not things of this world. I pray that you please bless the rest of our day. And in your name, Jesus. Amen. And don't forget to join us again on a Renew Live. Have a good day.